Hey guys, Jeremiah with Elite Cuts Lawn Care. Um, driving home after pulling a 12 hour overnight shift as uh, a nurse, my full time gig. Um, so I'm driving home, um, gonna go home, take a little nap, and then uh, get to cutting some grass and trying to transition back to the land of the day people. And I just thought I'd take a moment to kind of give you a little bit about me and why I'm in the lawn care business. You know, I, I, this is a recent for me. Uh, I, I've always enjoyed taking care of the grass. It's, you know, I, I, you ask my family, a little obsessive, uh, but I've always enjoyed it. And let's be honest, healthcare is not, not a great place to be right now. It hasn't been for a while, and not just because of COVID. And so I decided that, you know, after 28 years in healthcare, it's all I've ever done since I was 16 years old as a nursing assistant, EMT, paramedic, you, you name it, I've kind of done it in the healthcare industry. Uh, it's time for a change. It's time to do something different. But like I tried to do most things, I try to be smart about it. I try not to take too big of a risk. So, you know, we started as a house. And, you know, my, my my goal is is that you guys out there that are watching this, you know, if you live in my area, if you live in Elk River and you're looking for service, that you understand what you're gonna get when you hire me. That care and compassion and the empathy that I put in to provide high quality care as a nurse, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This is my way to still serve because service of others has been, it's been my life since I can remember as a kid. And, you know, I, I can remember when I was, I must have been 12, 13 years old. Um, you know, my parents always told me, you know, we lived in the country and if somebody comes up to the door and they need help, you always help them. And sure enough, I was home by myself and my parents were gone and, and a lady comes up to the door and she's like I have I ran out of gas and my daughter's and you know my young daughter was in the car and she goes and we're, we're five miles from the nearest town and so I said sure I can help you and I went to the shed and I got the gas can five gallon gas can and I ran you know I walked out to her car it was about a quarter mile up the road and, and I put the gas in and I said, that'll get you to the next town. I went home and my dad came home. I said, hey dad, the lady came to the door. And I, I gave her gas and you know, we didn't have a lot of money. And my dad said, that, that son, that was the right thing to do. But he goes, you know, gas is expensive. So next time, maybe not all five gallons. And so, but I mean, the, the enjoyment that you get serving others is special. And when you look at a nurse or a doctor or a, a physical therapist or a nursing assistant, you name anybody that works in, in, the, in the healthcare industry, they didn't pick that job because they're going to get oodles of money. They picked that job because, yeah, they make decent pay, but they get to help people. They get to do service for others. And so, like I said, healthcare has become difficult to say the least because of COVID, because of shortages, because of uh, practices that corporations have been making for decades. And and it's kind of all coming to a head now. And you, we see the nursing shortages, you know, it's all over the news and, and people are quitting. People uh, are reaching their breaking point. And for me, I'm, I'm, I'm with those people. I understand. And so I decided to start a lawn care service because that allows me to still serve others. And to serve others by providing high quality service and value for your time and money. To treat you like I would treat you, a patient, with dignity, with respect, with you know, trying to honor your wishes the best I can, but also telling you what you need to hear. You know, the, the truth sometimes. 
to explain things in, in a, a method that you can understand and, and to be a good communicator. But all in all, I want to give you a great quality lawn and take care of, you know, making sure that you, you give that, you get that great quality service. And I can do that doing the lawn care and it's far less stressful than being a nurse. And it, it doesn't follow me home at night. It doesn't affect my relationships. It doesn't affect my physical and mental health the way that being in healthcare right now does. And so I, I started the Elite Cuts Lawn Care because that is what I see I want to do in my future. Be able to provide service without having to have that heavy burden of being responsible for the life of another human. Because have no doubt, those nurses that are at your bedside, they have your life in their hands. That you could be in the ICU and literally at the push of a button, I could kill somebody. Those are the stakes that these people that are working in hospitals and nursing homes and, and all these other places, those are the stakes that they're dealing with. In some way, shape, or form, your life is in their hands. And they're doing it with not enough people. And they're doing it when people are angry and frustrated. And they're doing it when they're sick. And they're doing it when they're hungry. And they're watching people die. And they have been for 18 months to two years. And that takes its toll. And... Unfortunately, I think we could do by them far better. I think the corporations can do by all employees far better. Take care of your people and they will take care of you. And I think that's forgotten. And money is king and it's get it at all cost. And so I can't, I can't do that. That's not me. That's not how I want to operate. I want to operate with dignity and respect. I want to make sure that my customers get my top-notch service and it, you know, eventually the people that work for me make sure, know that they're valued and they're, they'll be well taken care of. And that's the kind of company I want to run. And so I'm taking that risk, stepping outside my box, stepping outside my comfort zone, just listen to Brian on Brian Fulton Unfiltered Podcast um, from Brian's Lawn Maintenance. I'm talking about being uncomfortable and how it can help you. And um, I took that risk. And, and I'm going to go for it. I'm going to do it the way that I feel it needs to be done. And so at that, as PJ Fleck would say, at that elite level and, and being elite doesn't mean just being the best but it's all about how you do it so yeah i'm gonna i started a lawn care company and that's that's what i'm gonna do so if you're if you're looking for service you live in the elk river city um give me a shout out or if you're just out there know that hey you know if you're a nurse or a doctor know, know that i feel you that i hear you that i see you that i know you're struggling and that uh, you, you know you got to start making decisions to take care of yourself as well as with other people, you know, like they tell you on the plane. First thing you do is put the mask on yourself because you can't help anybody else if you're dead. If you're struggling, if you can't function, take care of yourself. And and I hope the public realizes that, hey, you need to put pressure on these corporations to, to do things the right way because that's not how it's happening right now. And it's sad because the public's going to pay for it as nurses quit and they're not being replaced and it's just less and less people to take care of you and sooner or later that's going to cost somebody their life and that's sad and it's tragic and it doesn't need to happen but anyway guys you know i, I don't want to get too long here so um look me up check me out and i'm gonna go home and take a nap and i'll see you later